In our last episode, Felix, Ironhammer, and Topknot were able to trudge through the snowstorm and make their way to the weathered fortress ahead of them. After inspecting the space outside, they found some armor and weapons underneath the mountains of snow. Taking note of an insignia on a rusted shield, they head inside to a pitch black room. After lighting the area up, they realized that they were in a desolate throne room with another one of those metal plaques hanging above the previous leader's chair. Spotting a small, grotesque being in the corner of the room, Felix went to throw a rock at it, but instead, Topknot shot it with a ray of flame after being overcome with a sense of hatred. Taking care of three more of these beings, a monstrous version descends from the ceiling, crawling along the wall. Stunned with fright and anger at the sight of their first real astral, the three adventurers were put under a spell, losing control of their bodies and minds. A few hours later, Trip arrived at the fortress, alongside Claude and Perry. After a debacle with the front door, they eventually made their way inside, noticing that the bodies of the previous three had been lined up head to foot in an attempt to block the entrance. After a few minutes of effort, they were finally able to awaken the trio and do battle with the astral, giving it blow after blow. Eventually taking down their first target, they now find themselves standing above the hogtied creature as its pink-hued eyes are starting to fade. Welcome back once again to Retrograde, a D&D campaign by Fudged Roll. I'm your dungeon daddy, Derek Day, and joining me once again is uh, our academy, uh, not not yet graduate, Andrew Akers, hey. Ty Sheets. Guten Tag! <laughs> Oh man, uh, Jesse Wagner. What's up? And the Lizard Wizard Ian Jones. Uh, we, did we tie that thing up at the end of the last session? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Did we? <laughs> Why yes. Don't I remember that. <laughs> You guys are just kind of in the center of the room with this thing tied up on the ground. Um, what are we? We were supposed to bring this thing back to Emperor DuPont, weren't we? We're not just going to kill it? Emperor? When did he become Emperor. the fucking Emperor? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> every, time I, every time I've been talking about him, it's always been, it's been your majesty, your highness. All right, guys. Let's go Emperor. back to Grand Poobah DuPont. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so do I, have, I, I'm just going to point to the, the, one of the guys who had shown up like afterwards, uh, the one who I had, I had woken up in his arms. I don't think you introduced yourself to me, Ty. Um, you might, you may have, but I don't really remember. Um, I, I did. Um, cause you asked who I was and I said, well, my name's Trip. Uh, Trip, do you, I saw you were using some potions in that fight earlier. Do you have anything that can put this thing to sleep longer? Well, I don't have any sleep potions on me, but I do have this um, blue potion. I don't know what it does. We could try it. I don't. Well, that, that one potion that you took, it uh, it made you really big and stuff. So maybe we shouldn't give the astral anything that can make it stronger. I don't know. Just a thought. It's a valid point. <laughs> and what about Felix? Can Felix, Felix, can you identify that potion? The potion. Yeah, you've you've made some health potions and stuff before. Yeah. Can you? Can you I make? Do have a to... book of potions? Correct. I right, give him a piece. So okay. Can so I this roll to only... see if I know what it is? And also, this thing is only stunned for fifteen seconds. <laughs> 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 so like I, as soon as we tied it up and like as soon as I turned to to Clyde, Claude, as soon as I Claude. turned to as soon as I turned, can't even remember his name, <laughs> my best friend. I lost my notes. Um it's on the screen. I, I turned <laughs> as soon as I turned to Claude and I was just like, what happened to your face? Then he probably would have woken up by then. This thing is now uh not able to get out completely but it's going to start like wiggling around i give him a knock on the head with my hammer he's really weak we got to make sure not to kill him i beat him you 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 can do that <laughs> i hit him with i hit him with the stone of healing no what's wrong with and you? i hope i mean it might do it but it won't kill him but it'll still do damage and hopefully knock him out Listen, it might kill him. There is some, there is some, <laughs> there is some logic to that. There's some. <laughs> He's trying to knock him out with the stone of healing. I was blessed with brains <laughs> and with brawn. <laughs> Can you give me a try? All right, throw me, uh, roll me damage and healing. I mean, he's just on the ground, so you don't have to roll to hit. I was going to say, I have a sleep potion, guys. <laughs> why, 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 did you say that? why didn't you start with that? <laughs> you okay, guys takes, started running off on it. You were like, well, takes, I have a book. He takes two damage, and he heals two damage. <laughs> 
he is still wiggling around. I mean, it, that didn't it do doesn't anything. knock him out. <laughs> it didn't do anything. <laughs> but even if you get hit by a rock and then get healed, that might still, you know, knock you out <laughs> for a second, make you a little groggy, right? He's just, he's just more pissed now. I'm gonna pour the sleep, but I'm gonna pour right, my sleep boys. potion in his mouth. Mouth. I'm out of ideas. <laughs> I'm not going to address the group, though, that I, I'm pulling the sleep potion out. I'm just going to pull the sleep potion out, pour it in his mouth, and not say anything. Well, as Iron Hammer is striking him over the head with the rock. <laughs> Go to sleep. <laughs> just, being, just beating him over and over again. And then he falls asleep, and Iron Hammer's like, it worked. <laughs> uh, Felix, roll me uh, strength. Strength? Oh, jeez. That's my worst roll. Is, is he being kind of two, you're saying? Three oh, minus of- one is two. You pull out the potion of sleep and uh, go to. Does he does he get advantage since the creature is prone and restrained? No, just because he's going for the <laughs> mouth. And if you saw the the thing's head, it's a big mouth. It's, it's very big. So when you go to reach to pour it in, it just keeps like almost head bagging. So you you can never get a chance to get it in. What color is a sleep potion? Purple. Oh. I think. He said with authority. <laughs> I, have a, I have a a red potion and a blue potion, so we could mix them together. That oh. seems like a Oh, I think that's I think that's how alchemy works, actually. Yeah. I'm beginning to think that you're not an actual alchemist. <laughs> yeah, did I spill all my health potion? I mean I have a brewer's kit. We could brew you them together. Really drunk. Yeah. I still, ha- I think, I do I still have some deadly nightshade? I mean, deadly being the key word there that maybe we shouldn't use it. <laughs> well, that's Clyde. how we made the sleep potion before. Claude, yeah, hey, but... help me hold him down. Hey, Claude, <laughs> when did you get here? I just noticed you. I'm going to, I'm just going to turn to the other two uh, that late arrivals and have them help me just keep him down. So he's not wiggling or trying to break three from free from his ropes. Okay. Let me do a couple rolls. Okay, so uh, Claude and Perry are going to run up to uh, each side of this thing. Uh, they're, they will hold down the ropes. However, this thing is now struggling more and more and is starting to tear at some of the length. Put that potion down its throat. And I'm going to try to grapple with it as well. Okay, Sky, you're going to grab <laughs> I mean, I'm close right, to it. There's all, not really much I can do. You need all the help you can get. I cast guidance on. That's a D4, right? <laughs> on top knot. I slap you on the button and say, go get him, champ. That's a D4? D4. Yeah, you can add a D4 to your next uh, ability, champ. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, nine. <laughs> go for the legs. <laughs> I'm just can hugging I, him. Can I take I can't, <laughs> I can't get my arms around any part of its body. <laughs> no, you, yeah, with a nine, uh, you go up to it and just kind of like... I, I picture you hugging your entire body around its face, trying to hold it down, <laughs> but, it, but it just whips you back and forth. I think it's working, guys. I'm going to cheer, cheer from the sidelines. Yeah, can I take the blue potion and go put a couple drops on it? Didn't you mean to hit him again? Which which one are you doing? The blue potion that um, Scarlet used. Yes, I know the one. <laughs> oh, no. He's going to turn into a bear or something. Like a really weird bear and kill us all. <laughs> If there's no, I mean, if there's no uh, objection. I mean, we don't know what he's doing. If you just want to roll me a strength. The rest of us have never seen the blue potion. Yeah. Ten. After noticing that uh, the rest of your members, teammates, uh, aren't able to hold this thing down, you will walk over to it. Um, You don't even try to fight with it. You just, as it's moving its head, you just drop a couple droplets of your blue potion. And this thing. It explodes violently. It howls. Immediately when it hits the inside of its mouth, it uh, it burns and you can hear it sizzling. What are you so trying now, to do? So now it's fighting harder. <laughs> that didn't work. Can I non-lethally just smack it lightly with my hammer to knock it out or morning star? <laughs> Is that like a spell? You can try. I'm going to pull out cat if this thing's alive or dead. I think this was part of our contract. I thought we were supposed to bring it back in one, oh, one piece. What are we? I do know the call. We need to bring it back to DuPont. I don't know if it we needs to be alive or not, but maybe alive would mean more money for whoa, more money for us. I don't think he specified alive or dead. I was yeah, I was gonna say out of character, I think I said either dead or alive. I think he just wanted a part of it. I figured yeah. as much too, but like Yeah. That's just what my that's what my character thinks, you know. I'd rather bring it back alive. Yeah, I'm not gonna tell you what to do. If you wanna try to carry this thing like hundreds of miles, go ahead. Maybe we can be friends. 
Can I try and give him some beer? Uh, another strength check. I'm gonna, <laughs> can I mix up another sleep potion? Uh, yes. Oh, that's solid. Roll me a medicine check, Jesse. 14 on the strength yeah. check. I love how we're all fighting with this thing, and then Felix is just, like, playing with a chemistry 14. set. <laughs> okay, uh, Ian, what, what were you trying to do? I was going to give him some beer to see if we could be friends or to calm him down. And you know how you give a baby, like, some whiskey, and they stop crying? <laughs> Uh, you, yeah, you can, you can pour some beer down its throat. Uh, it's still unwilling after being burned by the potion, but once it, once it feels the cool rush of Bud Light TM sliding down its throat, it's, it's just, it's happy. I, hey, hey, I give my, I give the monster a pat on my head. There, there, buddy. (laughs) What are we doing? It's very much trying to escape. (laughs) Did you bring any more beer with you, Claude? (laughs) Uh, no, unfortunately not. Claude doesn't talk like that anymore. I'm trying to even it out a bit. <laughs> uh, Felix, with a 14, you're able to pretty quickly craft a, like a small sleeping potion. Uh, I'm going to reach into my bag and I'm going to pull out one of the um, syringes. Syringes, And I'm going to say, Felix, why don't you try using this instead of missing when you're trying to pour it into its mouth? Just stab it. Okay. You can stab it, but I'm going to have to smack it with a hammer. I'm going to do that. How does he know your name? <laughs> <laughs> One of us probably said it. Well, yeah. he he would have known it. He he was told in Cirrus. Yeah, true. Yeah, we I'm not gonna that. take any. I'm gonna take any. Not gonna take any notice to it because you know we're in the heat of the moment. Well, I already said it out loud because I said Felix, take a look at his potion. Oh yeah. So yeah, I, I just don't know who Iron Hammer, Iron Hammer is. That's the only name that hasn't really been said. Because no one addresses me directly. Wizard, wizard. Iron Hammer, hold him tighter. <laughs> 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 Felix, if you can just roll me uh, dexterity. Fuck me. Three. Oh, my God. <laughs> Knocks the syringe out of your hands. All right. This is what we do, lads. We get some of those abandoned shields. I was going to the shield. <laughs> and we slide them down the mountain. I'm sure it's this creature's turn to do something. <laughs> I was going to say, as as you guys are talking about sledding, uh, Felix, you go to stab this thing, and it gets a claw and rips part of the rope. And as it goes up, it knocks a syringe out of your out of your hand. So its arm is free now. Uh, it's it's not completely free, but it's freeing itself second by second. I'm going to give it the other half of my freaking flask full of water, the remainder that I had from uh, my hallucinogenic water. Sure, you get him as high as a kite. Oh, okay. Do I still have guidance cast on me? It's for a minute, right? Uh, no, because you can only use it once. You already used it. Oh. Can what I go to... see if I can find the syringe? Uh, yeah, Jesse, roll me an uh, investigation, and then top knot. Uh, give me also a dex- dexterity. I rolled a 13. I don't have any lux or anything remaining. That sucks. Fucking A. Nine. This is ridiculous. Uh, Felix, you walk away, um, and you can, you can find the syringe uh, a couple feet behind you. Uh, top knot, you go up and kind of splash this thing in the face. You get a little bit in its mouth, so it calms down for a minute, but you know it's not enough to keep it sedated. And then, yeah. while, it, while it's calmed down for a minute, I'm going to, like, basically jump on it and try to stab it again. <laughs> Rassle it. Give me one more dexterity. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> nat one. Dab yourself and go to sleep. <laughs> you really get a nat one. I, I think, really rolled a nat one. I'm not fucking kidding. I think it's time to give this creature a second wind and make us roll for initiative again. <laughs> this is where this is going. Well, Felix is asleep now because that's the only logical thing that could happen. <laughs> when you inject yourself. <laughs> yeah, we should. Yeah, let's resolve that. Uh, Felix, after... After Top Knot somehow got this thing to calm down for a minute, you rush over, jump on top of it, and stab yourself in the thigh. <laughs> as you slink over next to this thing, almost like lovers looking at each other in Aww. bed. I'm telling you, my second cousin, husband's brother, invented sledding. It's easy. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> no, stop. Roll me a history check. You can't make that up. <laughs> he made it up about fucking flying kites. It's, yeah, he's it's fast. Family history. You think I don't know me on family history? <laughs> Give me a history check. You don't know that. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Derek. 18 plus whatever my history is. <laughs> okay, it was your brother's cousin. Who did it. it was my second cousin's your second husband's cousin. brother. Yeah. Daughter. And then your uncle made the flying kite. Yeah, my uncle invented kites. <laughs> what is this 
have to do with anything. This thing is I know how sleds this. work. We don't need to do with anything with the sled. <laughs> this thing we is need to get off this. We need to get off this mountain with a monster. Its left arm is it's now It's fighting free. us right now. All right, I'm, I smack in the head with my morning star. Roll me damage. <laughs> Jesus, it's not turned on, so it should straight up kill him. It's a D8, I think, right? Yeah, six. <laughs> How do you want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it should be, but okay. <laughs> I lightly tap him in the head. <laughs> Iron Hammer, after after noticing it has freed its left arm from the rope, uh, you quickly act and knock it over the head with your Morning Star, uh, knocking it, uh, basically knocking it unconscious. Um, you can't tell how long it's gonna survive for after this blow, but you can see its uh, its eyes. The pink is slowly fading into a gray. Is there any sleeping potion left in the syringe that Felix stabbed himself with? Yes, we'll say there's still about half. Okay, I take that out and I put the rest of it into the monster's mouth. Got it. Okay. It yeah, it's now like completely passed out. All right. Problem solved. Jesus Christ! I mean, <laughs> I told you I should have just hit it in the head to begin with. The uh -huh. brain is the strongest muscle. And to prove a point, I'm going to take one of those abandoned shields and put Felix on top of it so I can pull him away since he's sleeping. Roll me a strength. <laughs> With advantage. With advantage? A sled? Advantage? If somebody else is helping. Wait, so you're grabbing Help. a sled from inside? I'm grabbing, from, from I'm outside. grabbing a shield. A shield from outside. Whatever the shields then, are, I'm taking one of the shields, I'm putting it back, and I'm going to put Felix on top of it. Okay. okay. Anyway, I rolled a 12 for my strength check. Okay, yeah, you're able to... Felix just disappears down the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I don't push you. <laughs> <laughs> you're able to uh well okay here's the question are you taking felix outside first or are you bringing the shield inside i'm bringing the shield inside i'm no fool i do the least amount of work possible and i tie a rope around where the arms would go on the shield so i pull it okay you now have felix and this creature tied up on the ground i mean i don't tie felix up i just put him on the sled <laughs> i'm tying the sled did it break <laughs> did it break the original rope it broke uh, like half of it. One of its arms is out. Guys, this thing, look at the size of it. And it only took half of one of these potions. It's not going to be staying asleep for long enough to allow us to get to where we need to. Can I search Felix's pockets for the rest of the potion? Did he have any more? He took the rest of the potion. I thought he made a small one and had the other one. He used the rest of the nightshade to create that potion that, you, that you guys just used. Right. Well, then I guess we better get moving. Get some more shields so we can make a bigger sled. Punks. I pull out the knife that I got from the tyrants from the beginning and I jam it into the skull of the astral. We did all that fucking work. <laughs> just need to kill it anyway. Yes, because we're not going to be able to get it there. It's just going to wake up and thrash around and we're going to kill it anyway. Well, we could have tried. Ty disagrees. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit taken back by this this little thing that just you know was trying to save it and then just out of nowhere decided to murder. <laughs> murder. <laughs> Guys, we have to take this a long way back, and I hate cats anyway, especially right. big cats like this. Roll me a Constitution. Uh, a fourteen. Uh, okay. After after sliding your knife through this thing's skull, you would assume. Uh. It felt kind of good, but you don't mention anything. Sexually satisfying? Or? No, I top, wouldn't say sexually. No, top, top knot is asexual. Wow. Um, so, Guys, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just... No, you're not. It would have just woken up and it would have fought us again. I didn't think about how far we needed to take it. And it, it almost... We really messed up trying to get that thing to go to sleep the first time. Felix knocked himself out. We were struggling with it. I think this is the best just, route. We'll just take the body back. We can, still, I... we can still use the sleds. Just now it's not going to fight us every couple minutes. What is the duration of a hell, of a sleeping potion? Yeah, how long am I going to be asleep? You would, wouldn't would you know? I, I would have asked Felix, but Felix would have woken up the same time the creature did, if not later, because he was smaller. Let me check. I don't think it's really that long. Uh, it's like 30 seconds. It's already starting to wake back up. <laughs> uh, like, yeah, like a minute. So, like, it would have been 30 seconds that this thing would have woken up again. Uh, A little longer just because it was knocked out, but it would have been up in, like, probably 10 minutes or so. It would have beaten yeah. him in the head again. All unconscious for one minute. Yeah. The effect ends if you take damage or someone uses an action to shake or slap you awake. Okay, so it would have already woken up. <laughs> Guys, it wouldn't have worked. This is the only way. So is Felix, like, awake yet, or is he, like, or am I still asleep? You're still, you're still asleep for a little bit. You, you, I, I'm going to say you're going to start to come to as you guys start to exit. 
I jam this thing in the head with my with the knife, and then I say something along the lines of everything that I just said as a justification, and then uh, the only the only good cat is a dead cat. And then I'm gonna follow up with, <laughs> "Have you ever seen a cat before?" Oh uh, yeah, um, you didn't see them before, but there were these these little these little ones. This one's really big. Um, yeah, like, this one's a big one. It's a lot bigger than anyone I've seen, but, uh, yeah, I've seen a couple cats. They, they look pretty much like this. <laughs> Why, have you, have you not seen a cat before? I, I have seen a cat. Um, and Why are you asking? They don't you look know anything dangerous. like this. They're not grotesque creatures. You don't think this, you think this isn't grotesque? Look no, at this. No, this is, gro this thing's grotesque. However, cats are furry and small. Uh, I'm gonna look. Who else is who else is in the room right now with us? Everybody's still there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't. I don't know. I mean, I've seen them. Yeah. This is. This is. I think someone must have told you incorrectly, right? Iron Hammer. Aren't, aren't I, these what cats I, are? I, I missed the whole. I, hello. He was getting Felix on the shield. Yeah. Isn't this is what a cat looks like, right? Uh, there's no cats in the mountains. Never seen them. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't know. I've, I've kind of grown up my whole life. Like, this is what I was told that cats were. Uh, Perry's, Perry's going to say, man, I don't, I, I, how did I, how did I do it? Oh, Perry, shit. Perry just had a stroke. I forget how, I forget how, I'm going to switch to Claude. Uh, Claude's going to say, listen, we live, like, I live up in the clouds, and I know that's not a cat. Claude. Uh, that one your voice. That was, that was, yeah. I don't know, did, have cats gotten to look different in the last couple hundred years? I mean, I, I'm from a different time. I mean, maybe, maybe they've evolved different. Cause like back in my day, two like two hundred years or so ago, they they looked just like this. So you've seen a creature like this before, then? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, a little bit smaller, kind of, I guess. But uh, yeah, like they they came around my village. That's that's why everyone started getting sick because of the because of the cats. That's my mom. My mom told me I she said those damn cats, and then my mom got sick. So I heard you guys like call this thing an astral. So you had astrals back in your time, then? I didn't, I don't know. I, we had cats. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Can we go down the mountain, please? <laughs> there, I don't know. It was a small thing, like the things that we saw before. All right, I'm going to start tying a bunch of sleds together to make a big sled for the big monster boy. Roll, roll me a survival iron hammer as they're talking. <laughs> you guys carry on. Uh, well, mm, one. A natural one? Natural one. Oh, Felix is going to disappear down the mountain. I trip and fall down the mountain. <laughs> so the 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 three of you, uh, I guess the five of you guys are um, arguing about cats, um, about what is and what isn't. Not you. Uh, you're, you're number six. Uh, Iron Hammer, you walk away and uh, fetch a couple of shields. Um, I'm going to say you're able to tie them together. As you uh, and you can get the you can get it pushed under the astral uh, as they're all arguing, you start to get the astral outside the fortress, um, but you accidentally push it as it starts sliding down the cliff. I dive for the rope <laughs> and the shields break apart. Oh. <laughs> Does the astral go off the cliff? The astral is on the edge of the cliff. I drag him back. <laughs> You're gonna have to roll me a strength for that. What cliff Ooh, this, is this? This this one was better. So that's a seventeen. This is the cliff you had to uh, climb up with your so thing. That's Iron a distance Hammer away from is the now tower. Hundred yards from the or hundred feet from the tower. It's been a long so, discussion about cats. To be fair, you just left for yourself, like just by yourself. Yeah. I've, I've got shit to do. You guys were standing around the astral as he <laughs> as he drug it away from you, and you paid no mind. <laughs> Uh, guys, where did Iron Hammer go? Is Felix awake now? I imagine. <laughs> Felix, you are now starting to come to as you realize you're laying on top of a uh, shield. I'm going to pretend to still be asleep. <laughs> and I'm going to see if someone will just drag me. <laughs> uh, Felix, roll me a deception. Mormon's <laughs> in it if he's pretending to be asleep. <laughs> All right, it could be, it could be either. Add your bonuses together. My performance and my deception <laughs> together. <laughs> no, no, 
So now, as everyone's regardless, been- it's a five. <laughs> <laughs> My rolls have been shit. <laughs> you guys keep checking to see if Felix is awake, and you've noticed he's been awake for about a minute now. He just keeps blinking out of his left eye, trying to keep an eye on the conversation, but you know he's paying attention. Like trying to quickly close his eyes every time they glance at him. <laughs> exactly. He has to keep turning his head. <laughs> I was going to say, you know, after all this is done, I need to talk to Top Knot because I'm not just going to follow blindly with, with these people. I need to figure out where I came from. So uh, I'm going to pull out the wanted poster again and see, you know, why did I have this? Why, where, did it, where, where am I? Uh, okay, yeah, we can put a pin in that cat discussion for right now. Um, I'm going to ask you the exact same thing. Like, what, how did you get that? All I remember is I woke I woke up next to... Or a little bit away from this uh, nice man named Bromness, his hut, and this was in my hand. So I've been asking around. I went to Bromness's house and helped repair his house that some group of people destroyed and didn't even offer to help. Um, and yeah, I've just been trying to find you because. Um, uh, that that piece of paper was not meant for you. You you said you just woke up. You don't have any recollection of anything before that. No inside check. Ah, uh, nine. Yeah, I I mean, just from that one word answer, you kind of have to go with it. Um, well, something similar happened to us just a couple days ago. We woke up in a cave inside of these strange pod things. There was uh, there was four of us then. Um, the person that that letter, that piece of paper was meant for, his name was Scarlet. Does that name mean anything to you? It it, it doesn't. Inside check. <laughs> mm, Twenty two. I mean, I'm gonna probably leave that one up to you, Ty. Do I notice anything? Like, do I? Can I tell that you're lying? Do you have any tells that I would pick up on? The first thing is, is he lying? Does he even know? Because you wouldn't have heard that name before this. Yeah, I mean, but but yeah, it's we don't understand the. I don't know what. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what to be true. So I don't. Yeah, it's it's not really uh, something I know. Like Scarlet the Color? No, no, he was a person. He was a, a human man. He had white hair and red First eyes. First name was Penelope. And we called him Penelope for short. No. <laughs> for short. <laughs> Longer name. <laughs> <laughs> and he was he was mean. He he did these these things. He tried to kill people. He we wouldn't let him though. Uh, pretty consistently. We did a really good job of keeping him from from killing people. <laughs> Insight check. <laughs> <You're doing> terrible <laughs> things. No, no, no. We did. We did. As far as Topknot is concerned, he's like because yeah. they got between him and Toad. They got between him and and uh, Bugsy. <laughs> they got between. <laughs> Not 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 the wife or the daughter though. Not well, yeah, but but Petal was already dead or on her way out. <laughs> well, yeah. we've, we've I mean, fair, I could have. I tried to heal. Her. <laughs> we had a fairly decent track record of keeping him in line, but he was mostly really mean. Great. So so we kicked him out of the group. I I kicked him out of the group, and uh, in a moment of hubris, I guess I left him that note. Hubris. <laughs> <laughs> I, I left him that note, and it, it wasn't a good idea. And I no, it wasn't a good idea, but I don't know. Maybe he throw the note, he threw it out, and then you found it. But he seems like someone who would who would like to keep, you know, things to make him remind him of how angry he is. So he, I don't know. He it doesn't make sense that he would have thrown it away. I I don't know. Um, I mean, I, I wasn't. I didn't wake up injured or anything. I just kind of came to, and uh, that was the first thing I remembered was waking up in this forest. Do you remember a life or anything that that came before waking up? When, um, yeah, uh, I used to have, I lived in the, in the country and I had my own, uh, yeah, alchemy, uh, stable, uh, business that I did there. And it was always, uh, what year, what year, what's, what's the last year you remember? Oh, are we at 776 now? Yes. 570 something. <gasps> What happened to you too? I'm gonna I'm gonna turn to uh to well just to Felix, I guess, who is currently still outside, outside still. <laughs> who I know is awake. <laughs> I know Felix is awake. Felix, Felix, did you hear it? He, he just woke up too, just like us. I'm gonna still pretend to be asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so hoping you would. <laughs> you stare at him and don't respond. <laughs> I want to roll to see if I've since actually fallen asleep, like naturally. <laughs> <laughs> uh okay. Felix, roll me a 
constitution. 15. You're knocked out cold again. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, top knot, roll me a wisdom. Oh, 14. Okay. Uh, after after having that uh, realization that uh, he that Trip has also woken up, um, you'd assume pretty close to the same timeline as you guys. You don't remember there being a fifth pod, so he must have come from somewhere else. You'd assume. Well, first I'm going to give him a big hug, and I'm just going to say, "Oh my gosh, isn't it so scary?" Isn't it? It's so scary just waking up and having no idea where or when you are. Oh my God, I'm so happy that you found us. Yeah, it was, uh, it's, it's quite a chance encounter. I'm very thankful <laughs> that I found you guys. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's weird that you have that paper. And I'm going to have to think a little bit more about that. But when we woke up, we woke up in this, this cave. You, you said you woke up in your Bromness's hut? Yeah. Was there anything close to you? Any any kind of pod or uh, a hole or a cave or uh, just anything besides the paper that you, you woke up by? Outside of character, when we went through the portals, was there, like, there wasn't anything then. You just walked through and then nothing behind you? Correct. Yeah, just instant. It's a one-way portal. Yeah, I I just, I woke up under a tree. What? Was there anything in your pockets? Anything besides that paper? Anything else that you had on your person? I think we woke up just with bare clothes, but, I mean, you you seem, you had, like, you had potions and, and everything. Did you wake up with all of that? I had, yeah. Everything, everything was on me. Well, what... What else? Like any, we, we, we've been trying to figure out clues to, uh, I don't know, we're, we came here because we think the astrals, the, whatever they are, have, have something to do with us. But help us, come on, help us, help us, help us, help us, help us. The, yeah, I, I woke up with a couple of potions on me, which it's kind of normal. Um, the only, like you said, the only potion that I didn't know of was this blue one. Um, I had on... <sighs> You know, some larger clothes, which I don't know why. And um, then. <laughs> so Trip, keep uh, keep in mind. <laughs> yeah, Ty, keep in mind. The, the blue potion, you don't know what it does, but as of now, all you think it does is it burns people. All I had on me was, you know, these larger clothes, and then there was all, I had these couple of weapons with me. Okay, well, you're, you're an alchemist, aren't you? Isn't that kind of, is that, that's out of character, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm not really <laughs> one for, uh, for, you know, physical violence. Oh, just weapons. So no other papers, nothing. Shoot. How did you remember your name so quickly? I just knew my name. It's, I, I don't know why you, you would forget your name. I don't know, that was all of us. We only could remember our last names. Yeah, I I don't know if uh, maybe I, since I didn't wake up in a pod and I just waked up underneath, woke up underneath the tree. But <laughs> waked up. I just waked up. <laughs> uh, but, you know, maybe that had a difference of uh, memory. Okay, well, we could talk about this a little bit more, but I kind of want to get towards a, a little bit warmer because it's cold and uh, I also only have four HP left, whatever that means. <laughs> I feel weak. Perry's going to chime in. He's going to say, man, I, man, bah. When did he become Southern? <laughs> Perry. <laughs> it, it was Perry. Perry. That's right. Yeah. Uh, I, I agree. Uh, I'm freezing my bunions off. Bunion? Why is he so like some weird Southern hillbilly? <laughs> <laughs> Ian, I don't know. It's just happening. It's just. Oh, get some of that moonshine. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right. Can we, we're, we're all just gonna, we're, we're all gonna leave and I'm gonna say, Felix, I know you're awake. Come on. I, I don't know that he's asleep now. <laughs> you're oh my God. We're, all just gonna, we're just gonna <laughs> walk out. <laughs> <laughs> know if you were never <laughs> lost and found. <laughs> I also want to say to do you mind if I join you guys? Uh, you know, I'd like to learn more. Our, it seems like our our histories are already intertwined, Trip. So we're on this path now, for better or worse, together. And I'm gonna yeah. let go of my I'm gonna let go of my hug from him because <laughs> I was actually gonna come in for a hug now. <laughs> Hugging him the entire conversation? <laughs> just, just holding That started like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> it has. Uh, I'm just going to say thank you, little one. That's so weird. I'm just going to whisper, to, like mumble to myself as I walk out the door. Uh, okay, so the astral, you guys just leaving it there? Oh, no, 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 no. Or would you, do you want to do anything with it before you leave? Yes. Um, we need to, we need to take parts of this um, I was just, I was just trying to build a sled. 
Oh wait! Oh shit! This is Iron Hammer. Iron Hammer already took it. You're out. You're you're out of there. I'm outside. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just gonna follow. Oh, he already took the astral. <laughs> That's so nice of him. Yeah. The the five of you uh, reconvene and exit out of the fortress. Um, as you come upon the astral on the edge of the cliff with Iron Hammer just kind of standing there. Iron Hammer, are you freaking out or are you like just waiting? Nah, I'm chill. I went. I've, I've tried to build another sled. Okay. Uh, roll me another survival. Little do they know. Sleep back in the castle. Yeah. <laughs> the tower uh survival is oh survival i got a good survival it's 18 yeah yeah you're able to make a pretty decent looking sled for this thing now uh it looks pretty sturdy uh felix roll me another constitution eight uh no you are still asleep <laughs> yeah we're just gonna we're just gonna go and if I anyone asks to cloud it i over to cloud and parry oh you, you might give me a hand pulling this dude uh, they'll agree, but first they point out that they, that you guys kind of have to figure out how to get this thing off the cliff first. Yeah, we should just tie him up and then lower him down. Tie him to push, the side. Just, this is the cliff we climbed up already? Yes. I just rolled the body off the cliff. Uh, roll me a strength. 11 plus 2, 13. Yep, yeah, you can pretty easily push this thing over. It's just dead weight. Um, We'll, we'll say it's it's already on the sled, so it's a little easier, and it will land with a thump, uh, breaking a little bit of the ice uh, as it lands. Got it. Problem mm-hmm. solved. All right. Oh, man, the process to get here was so ridiculous. We're going to have to cross that, that crevasse again. We're going to have to do a whole bunch of stuff. Has anyone seen Felix? Uh, he he was pretending like he was sleeping back there. You know how he is. I go kill him. No, he's going to catch up to us eventually. You know how he gets caught in these, like, bits? Bits. Yeah, he gets he gets really committed to him, and then... Commit and then, all. yeah, it's fine. Let's just keep going. We're getting very almost meta today. No, I, I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna turn to Trip, and I'm going to say... He's been doing this. We've only known him a couple days, but he, he acts like this. He he pees on streets, poops everywhere. He he freaking showed his butt to the king. He uh he kicked some kid, tried to kick some kid when we were up in up in Cirrus. He acts like this. He does this stuff all the time. Hired him. Let's fair, just keep going. To be fair, you left an explosive for the child to pick up. You did not know that. <laughs> you tried. No, you tried to. That yeah, we addressed not... that. Yeah, yeah, but you. But then I uh, I took it down, and then I put it back up after you guys started walking away. <laughs> sure, but someone who tries to do that is clearly <laughs> a dumbass. Hold up, uh, Iron Hammer. Are you saying this in character or out of character? You say it in character. Claude perks up and says, "Sorry, what was that?" <laughs> it wasn't. It, it wasn't meant for a kid. It was meant. It was meant for Scarlet, that guy I was talking about earlier. I knew he was gonna try to hunt me down, so I put an explosive in the one thing I knew that would get his attention. I put it in a skull. Uh, a skull. Yeah, like like a human skull. It was kind of like split half, kind of. It was back at the the portal over here. Uh, were these the kind of, uh, circuitry you were dealing with? And he pulls out the wires from his pocket. Does he have that or does I thought I, I thought Scarlet I or uh, Trip has it? Oh, sorry. I might've gotten that wrong. Did this trip have it? He yeah. pulls the wires out of Trip's pocket. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He doesn't say any of that then. <laughs> well, I w- wanted to pull out and be like, was it something like this? Uh, yes. Yes, it was. How did you get that? I thought you said you didn't wake up with anything else. I didn't wake up with this. Um, well, do, do you uh, you want to fill him in on what happened to you, buddy? You look over and Claude <laughs> is burning red, which is surprising in this snowstorm. Uh, yeah, uh, I think I can uh, do a little uh, explanation. I saw this uh, skull on this uh, ruined post uh, right before we crossed to get inside the cave. Just want to make sure it wasn't uh, dangerous or anything, and it ended up exploding in my face, knocking out my favorite bottom teeth. Oh my God, I'm Claude. I am so I'm sorry. Explaining the dude. I I didn't think anyone else was gonna mess with a skull in the middle of nowhere on top of some ruins. It wasn't meant for you. I, oh my God. How are we going to uh, resolve this? I don't know. Uh, I, what can I do? Dad. What What can I do to to make up for this? I didn't mean to hurt anyone innocent. I just, I thought that this Scarlet guy was going to come back and kill me. And he knew that we were coming here and he was a psychopath. He was crazy. I thought, I thought he would have messed with the skull. To make up for this, once this is all done and finished, you must be my bar boy up in Cirrus. Bar bitch. What is that? What is, you would, you would give me a place to stay? 
underneath the bar. <laughs> uh, yes, there are there there are side bedrooms inside the uh, wait wait the tavern. Cirrus Cirrus is still standing. When we when we all left, that place was being destroyed. We're you're a refugee too. How how do you know your bar is still there? The big black discs. <laughs> <laughs> The, the attack never ended up hitting my uh, tavern, thankfully. And I'm hoping once this is all done, I can go back and uh, get everything fixed up. Am I still going to be... Except the bar that didn't get hit. Am I going to be allowed to, like, live there, though? Because they told me... Remember, I got this brand? <clears throat> I'm going to show the WoW brand. Am I going to be, like, a second-class citizen while I'm there? I wouldn't say second-class, uh, but you will do whatever I say. Uh... I mean, I'm not gonna like kill someone for you or something. It's gotta be. It's gotta be like reasonable work. Like, oh my god, no, you, no, you just be a, you just be a bartender. No, no, oh my god. <laughs> why did you? Why did you just? Why do you have to make it so? Yeah, obviously, I'll I'll work as many hours as you need. I I feel bad. I'm not that kind and, of guy. And sometimes yeah. ride. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not going down there. <laughs> yes, I, I, I'll do anything to make up for this within reason. Uh, but yes, I, I, I'll work the time. I, I understand. I'm sorry. He'll reach his hand out. I awkwardly take it. <laughs> oh, like a shake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I kiss it. <laughs> no, I, I, I give it a shake. I give it a little, a little shake with my hand. I can barely grip the, the edge of his fingers, but... All right, he is settled for now. I rolled a 19 constitution saving throw. <laughs> that was only like two minutes. Uh, I'll give you the choice if you want to wake up or not. <laughs> I want to wake up. Well, you classify that as a short rest. It wasn't 30 no. minutes. <laughs> no, that was like five minutes. <laughs> Iron Hammer, did you say you, you said you didn't tie Felix at all? No, I tied a, a rope to like the arm loops so I could hold the sled. Okay, got it. All right, yeah. I didn't, you... tie, I didn't tie him to the sled. <laughs> okay, Felix, yeah, you're, you're, you're able to wake up. Noting the fact that I'm like on this shield, I'm going to take a running start and then like jump and try to sled on the shield. Uh, roll me and athletics. Damn it. Face plant, knock yourself out. <laughs> <laughs> Five. He gets kidnapped by the giants. <laughs> Felix, what happens is you wake up, you notice nobody is in this castle anymore. You freak out, you pick up the shield, trying to find your crew again, hoping you haven't been sleeping for hours. You rush outside into the snowstorm um, with the shield holding in front of your chest. You run about 75 feet or so as you jump and belly flop onto the shield, ready to take off. You end up just flopping onto the cliff before you even hit the edge in front of your compatriots. So I basically just ran the whole way down. You ran, jumped, and didn't slide at all. Okay, so I'm with, back with my group? Yes, yeah, they're all standing around you with the uh, astral beneath you. See, I told you, I told you he'd be back. I thought you guys left me forever. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. I'm gonna go down the rope. Okay. Uh, yeah. If you want, you all, you guys can all climb down and make your way uh, to the frosted, frozen worm under the ice. Don't you guys think this is so crazy? Like, there's a dragon thing here. Shut um, up, bar bitch. Shut up, bar bitch. Claude, huh? I'm not gonna talk to to, to Claude because I feel bad. But I'm gonna turn to Perry and say, "Did you know that like this was here?" No. Uh, I've never been this far before. Um, I was wondering too. So when we came out of that portal and then like we went to where that, that little outpost was, how did you guys get back to Cirrus? Unfortunately, um, uh, but, oh my God. Unfortunately, um, we must, uh, head down the trail and make our way all the way back to Bromnesis to get back up to Cirrus. How, how far is that? This is like a, a wintry wasteland. You guys didn't think to put a two-way portal in? Unfortunately, we didn't have the choice. Um, they were already established, I'd assume, uh, just so no wanderers or vagrants could easily access Cirrus. It will be a couple days trip. Oh, jeez. Felix, do you do you think that like the uh, the stable master of New Haven is gonna start coming looking after Tank? Um, I'm I haven't even thought about that guy <laughs> since we left. Um, well, he I guess he's not gonna dumb. have to go. Yeah, like he's just gonna have to go to Bromness's hut, right? That's where we left the horse. Yeah, and what are the chances he's gonna end up there? And my dog. Was the horse when I was at Bromness's. Yes, Tank and Tank 2 were till were uh, were still tied up to Bromness's shed. With Tank 2 looking more and more uh 
uh, how do I want to say, animalistic, well, I guess. Gotcha. All right, well, let's go to the outpost. We'll talk to that lady. Oh, yeah, because I found her dog collar. Yeah, you're wearing it. Because I'm a naughty dog boy. <laughs> My man. That's getting cut. <laughs> All right, so you guys make your way... Um, past the uh, icy floor as you enter back into the cave. Um, Unfortunately, this time, there is no bridge to walk across. After trips, growth potion has uh, overstayed its welcome. How did you guys get across? Well, a bridge came out when we uh, we put uh, a a broken piece of dragon on this platform. Then I poured some of my growth potion on it and it grew bigger. And then, uh, the bridge came out, but it looks like the, uh, growth potion, uh, has worn off. Oh no. No Oh no. How far is it across? It's about 50 feet or so. I forgot that I also have a growth potion, guys. Yeah. Because I, I stole one of each potion that was in the in the apothecary shop, and I completely forgot about that. Yeah, you've still got a bunch you can use from there. But unfortunately, the pressure plate is on the other side. Right. Either of you guys have like a, can you teleport there? Can you fly there? Can we do anything? I can try to make a potion, but I don't I, I don't know if I'll be able to make exactly a flying potion. I have a book of potions and how to make them. It's just whether or not we have the supplies. I don't know. Um, Dungeon Daddy, could, what do you have to yeah, say about you it? You can just I can put the uh, the growth potion on my person and then you can shrink me and throw me and then I will just put the growth potion on a rock or something. We also need to put it on you so you grow back to normal size. I'll be small. I'm a small my whole life. Maybe I'll maybe I'll give myself the growth potion and then leave you off. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I mean, we could. None of us. Well, how how strong is the Iron Hammer? Because none of us are very strong. I was gonna say that throw is gonna be gonna have to be like a grand slam. Yeah, that's fifty feet. We have to throw you. We can yeah, build a just, we can build a catapult. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're an inventor. Invented catapults. Invent- how, high, how high is the ceiling? Oh, very, very high. I mean, hundreds of feet. Yeah, we could get like a board and just, you know, make him stand on on the one side and just throw a boulder on the other. Just launch him. (laughs) Oh, yeah, just like that. Well, Andrew's got his tinkering skills. I do, but I can't just... I had a quick question. I'm not going to build a trebuchet. Did you grab any of those mushrooms from the cave? Yeah, I put them inside of a glass vial inside of my alchemy kit. Okay. Well, we got to think of something. Uh, if if anybody walks over the edge, um, you'll you'll you can spot that uh, wooden board that you three had taken earlier, just as an option. I can try to make a a potion, but I have no guarantee on what it'll be. Speaking on um, those mushrooms, Derek. Now that we have a minute, I'm gonna like take them out of my pack. They're still in the glass jar, but I'm gonna see if I can like cross reference cross reference with this book I have to figure out what they are. <laughs> I, so, um, what time is it? In game, probably about five or so. It's, it's starting to turn to dusk. Should we maybe try to take a long rest? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm feeling pretty low and I can maybe take a little bit of time to, to try to tinker a few things. Um, I think I have an idea, but, um, it might take a little bit. So I might, I'm not feeling too great. So I could really use some rest. Um, <clears throat> not opposed to I have that. an idea. We have a bunch of shields, right? I mean, if you grabbed a bunch, yeah. If we did. Well, we have them on the sled. Right. How many shields would you say that we took to, to pull this guy? I'll say you have one for everybody. So seven, six, seven. And how long is this? 50 feet. Uh, this this channel? About About 50 feet. I could use my artisan's blessing to take those shields and make like a simple walkway potentially. I don't know how sturdy it would be, but I can create some, so that I can create simple items after an hour long ritual that crafts non-magical items that must include some metal, uh, a simple or martial weapon, a suit of armor, 10 pieces of ammunition, a set of tools or another metal object. So you're basically uh, taking the metal from the shields and creating a pseudo bridge out of it? Yes. And we're just hoping that it's going to be long enough. It's worth a shot. And sturdy <laughs> enough. Um, if we're going to be taking a long rest, I want to spend a little bit of time to try to craft a few <laughs> things. DM, this is up to you if you're going to allow me to do this. But I would like to... So I picked up that... Um, 
when we were saving Pom Pom from that cave with that creature, the the last the one with the lasso tongue kind of deal. Yeah, the roper. The roper. Its rope or tongue or whatever was super sticky. Yes. I'm wondering if I can attempt to craft some kind of gloves or preferably shoes of spider climb using that material. If everybody is agreeing to, I'll give you guys like a short rest. Because I wanted to do, I wanted to do, since it's only five, I wanted to do a couple hours of tinkering and then a long rest following that. Oh, so you're back in the morning. I Yeah, I mean, that's up to you. That's up to the party if you guys agree to that or if everybody else just wants to leave. I mean, I'm not opposed to a long rest because I, too, uh, don't have that much health. And I want to spend a moment to make a, since I depleted my potion supply, I'd like to replenish some of that. <laughs> I don't have any well, spell slots, so I can use a long rest. Yeah, I'm fine with long rest. And that'll give us all time to do what we wanted to do because I wanted to see if I could research these mushrooms. Okay. Um, so then, uh, Andrew, uh, some kind of tinkering check. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jesse, give me a medicine check. <sighs> and then you all get a long rest. Uh, uh, 17. Can I roll with advantage since I have the book? Yeah, go ahead. And then you'll have to give me a second. You said medicine? Yeah. Okay. I got a 18. Well, 5 plus 3. Or 15 plus 3. 18. 5 plus 3 is not 18. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'm not trying to do the artisan's lesson thing to see if I can make that bridge. So, Derek, the uh, um, the item I'm trying to create is the slippers of spider climbing. So you're doing uh, shoes instead of gloves on? Yeah, I think that'd be bad. Like, so they, um, <laughs> it, it essentially would, al- I'll just read the, the thing for you. Um, while you wear these light shoes, you can move up, down, and across vertical surfaces and upside down along ceilings while leaving your hands free. You have a climbing speed equal to your walking speed. Um, however, the slippers don't allow you to move this way on a slippery surface, such as one covered by ice or oil. I know we're in a nice cave. <laughs> I'm going oh, to try to make it anyway. <laughs> Okay, I'll, yeah, um, crafting these slippers, uh, we'll say you just uh, imbue this technology into the shoes you're already wearing, um, and you feel a bit sturdier uh, every time you walk. However, you know it's going to be dangerous to try to walk along these walls or ceilings. Uh, Felix, you cross-reference these uh, tiny, bulbous, white mushrooms, and uh, you can tell they are... Um, calcina mushrooms uh and with uh enough um researching you can tell that they give off a sort of lightweight effect uh that you could tell by the cloud of spores Mm -hmm. that popped up after after physical touch they just kind of hung in the air okay so now that i know that they do that i'm gonna research how to make a potion of flight Using my book or potions. Okay. Uh, roll me another medicine check for that. Okay. Uh, Iron Hammer, is there anything we needed to do? 14. Uh, mine just happens automatically, really, just after the hour long ritual. Okay. But it's up to you how it turns out, of course. Yeah, let me have you roll. Uh, do a religion check, see if my god's happy enough with me to build a bridge. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, roll me a religion check. Uh, Felix, with a, with a 14, you weren't able to create a complete potion of flight, but you are able to make a minor potion. Well, I just wanted to research it because before I do that, I wanted to do something else. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, research. Yeah, with a 14, yeah, you can tell um, you're able to take it in so you can kind of craft it by um, with your wisdom intelligence instead of having to research it again okay so next i'm gonna take my little my penis knife that i bought in cirrus yes i'm gonna cut off a piece of the uh astral i'm gonna mix the mushrooms and the bog myrtle together or not the bog myrtle the uh baited breath creating a potion of creating this potion i'm gonna pour it on the piece of astral that i uh just cut off in hopes to grow more mushrooms Interesting. Um, okay, so we'll say during your long rest, um, as Topknot's crafting in one corner, you're in the other corner with a piece of this astral, we'll say part of its hand or something. Um, you mix up the calcina mushrooms and the, and the uh, baited breath, uh, and we'll say pour it uh, along the edge of where you cut. Um, and after, after about an hour or so, you notice that there are tiny uh white stems roots growing out of uh we'll say the wrist uh iron hammer question with your spell does it uh 
Uh, should I be picturing the shields being lined up one one by one, or is it like they all melt in together and then create? I will read you the exact word. Um, I, you conduct an hour-long ritual that crafts a non-magical item that must include some metal. Um, a simple or martial weapon, suit of armor, 10 pieces of ammunition, a set of tools, or another metal object. Uh, the creation is completed at the end of the hour, coalescing in an unoccupied space of your choice on a surface... Uh, within five feet of you. The thing you create can be something that is worth no more than 100 gold. Uh, as part of this ritual, you must lay out metal, which can include coins, with a value equal to the creation. The metal irretrievably coalesces and transforms into the creation at the ritual's end, magically forming even non-metal parts of the creation. Okay, uh, with that, I'm going to say, roll me um, a, a religion check. 14. You lay out these shields, uh, one in front of each other, um, on the edge of where this bridge should be. And after an hour, while the other guys are doing their own experiments, you're able to melt the metal of the shields together into a pool, um, and transform them into a very long and thin metal like bridge. Um, it's not wide at all, but it is long enough to span the distance to the other side. Oh, man, Moradin is awesome. Yeah, he's a bro. All right, well, I still think we should do a long rest here. Start okay. early tomorrow. Especially if we come in contact with that spider again. No. What spider? Oh, you guys didn't see it. It was this big spider. It was all like, my babies. Well, no, I, we didn't hear that part. Felix, talk to it. You didn't see the spider, but he did see a dragon statue. We also saw a dragon statue. That's not that impressive. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, we'll say it's... Well, could I make, because I wanted to make, um, I have enough supplies yet for two potions. Oh, yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Okay. I just got a rule for them. Mm -hmm. I'll message you what the potions are. Okay. Um, uh, long rest. Is that eight hours? Yes. Yeah, eight hours. Okay. So this time we'll say it's about four in the morning. It took you guys a couple hours to do your research and experiments, uh, and you've rested. Uh, we'll say full health, full spells. Uh, it's now about four, four thirty in the morning. Did we want to? Did we? Did we want to talk about anything uh, while we're while we're around the campfire, getting ready for sleep? Any administrative things? No, that ain't me. Okay. In that case, yep. We wake up the next morning. <laughs> Turns out we've all been murdered. All right, uh, you all um, sleep pretty close together. I mean, even with a little bit of a fire, it's still freezing inside. Um, and you all wake up, uh, I guess, sort of in the morning, still dead of night. But you now see that there is a thin metal um, sort of bridge spanning this room. I'm going to use my fire stick to light, light my way so I can see. Oh, oh, you're going to attempt the bridge. Uh, well, I'm going to collect my mushrooms that I grew out of the astral's hand. I, I am going to go across the bridge, but I have my shoes. And the bridge is not any difficult terrain, slippery terrain. So I'm just going to walk right across. Felix, you will go back to the uh, corner where you had the hand and you can collect um, a decent amount of mushrooms. We'll say twice the amount you had originally had. Um, there's no more growing, uh, but you, you got a decent collection, uh, and top knot with your slippers of spider climbing, uh, you don't even need to be worried. You're easily able to pass to the other side. Walk right across. And on the pressure plate, you can see there is a, uh, a, an old skull that you'd assume was, uh, used to hold it down before. I can't hey, do top. anything. I'm well, just going to say, hey, Top Knot, why don't you come back across with your fancy shoes, take the growing potion over, and make the skull big again, and then we can all cross the bridge easily. What are you, scared to, scared to walk across this thing, Felix? You don't trust um, me. Yeah, it's real <laughs> skinny, and I'm isn't, clumsy. <laughs> isn't isn't Moradon, isn't Moradon your god, too? No. No, isn't he, isn't, isn't he the king of the dwarves? Or the, king, the god of the, the dwarves? The king of the dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the king of the dwarves. <laughs> the king of the dwarves. <laughs> We're the king. Isn't he the, the god of all the dwarves? I'm a druid, so I worship Aren't nature. You, yeah, but you're a dwarf druid. Don't you, like, believe in that god then, too? I believe in him. That doesn't mean I have to put all my faith in him. Uh, what do you think, Trip? Can you walk across this? Are you scared? I'm a, I'm a little scared. I mean, I, I've never, <laughs> I've never seen any of the, I've never heard of this Morden before, and uh, I, I, <sighs> like, 
no, no, no offense to you, Iron Neymar, but I haven't seen uh, any I'll walk anything. across. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'll walk across and grab a growth potion. No one trusts me. I love, I love Top Knot's uh, spiritual growth. What are you, pussies? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I grab it, I walk over, I pour it on the thing, and then if there's anything left, I pour it on myself. Uh, okay, you you walk back over... Uh, Dwarven size now. <laughs> uh, well, okay, you, you grab the uh, potion of growth from Felix. Um, are you planning on using the whole thing? Well, I don't know. So, so uh, it's kind of up to you because um, usually you'd have to use the whole use, but I know we haven't really been doing that. So I'll just use whatever it takes to get that thing enlarged, and then I'm going to enlarge myself. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you you are you easily walk back across, uh, grab the potion from Felix, and walk back across again. And uh, we'll say drop probably close to half of the vial onto the skull until it grows enough to um, till you hear a click and a uh, stone bridge spans its way across. Oh wow! Knocking the metal onto the icy floor. Sorry, Iron Hammer. It was very cool. <sighs> No respect. <laughs> and uh, top knot, hoping that uh, trying to quickly place a couple drops in your mouth, hoping nobody notices. Um, you grow to, we'll say about six foot. <gasps> <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> I'm a god. All right, and I'm just gonna wait for all of them to come across, and then I'm gonna act like nothing has changed. Perry's actually gonna mention. Um, hey, Trip, does uh that that guy you were looking for? Does he look a little different to you? Yeah, because he's further away. Um, yeah, don't don't mind him. I, I'm pretty sure, based on the situation, that he drank some of the growth portion, but that's only going to last here for, like, a couple minutes. Let him have his glory. You guys should cross before this thing runs out. Come on over. Actually, Come Perry. on over. Come Deeper. on across, guys. Hey, hey, get over here. Come on, guys. <laughs> this is only going to last a few minutes. Claude and Perry, so does Dragon the Astral. I kind of just to be fair, it. it's not like Lens. I really gained any like definition. <laughs> I'm still just in a top knot body, just bigger. <laughs> is this I'm like just like a, sort of like the incredible Hulk? Time. Are you wearing no, nothing but pants no, now? Did all no. your clothes just burst? Oh yeah, no, yeah. no, clothes no, grow that, with them. No, that grows because <laughs> you you I'm drink. Basically, huh? Did you drink the potion or did you pour it on yourself? Does it matter? I just drink it. It's a potion. Because then you would only grow. Are you serious? That's not true. Sounds like you're naked. No, I mean that it is a that's a DM choice. Except for some taste <laughs> except for some really, tastefully placed I'm not, ants. I'm not I am basically I'm like the kid in uh, Honey I Blew Up the Baby. Nobody's seen that. <laughs> Nobody has any idea what you're talking <laughs> about. That's not a movie. <laughs> yeah, it's Honey, just... I blew up the baby. <laughs> I blew up the baby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Rick Moranis signed up for that one. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, no, just let me grow to normal size. Just let me have this one thing. I'm going to say because you're so slender, um, your clothes... They're very tight. tight. <laughs> they're, they're tight, but they're tight, but they don't rip. However, your glasses oh. um, do not fit on your face anymore. Oh God, I can't see anything. What about his hat? Now you have to talk like Velma. My his glasses. Pee hat. My glasses. My, gla my glasses. <laughs> I can't see anything without my glasses. <laughs> So okay, so yeah, the the uh, you guys see top knot um, grow and stretch um, almost like a weird Gumby creature <laughs> as he fumbles around for his glasses. Uh, what do you guys want to do next? We walk. Uh, I mean, I walk. Yeah, across I'm, a, the bridge. I'm across. Are the Claude path. and Perry still pulling the astral? Claude, Perry, pull the astral. The, yeah, they're fine with that. They will follow behind as you all can make it to the other side of the bridge. And now we are back inside the cave. You all uh, enter back into the um, sort of man-made uh, cavern as you cross back into the room with the uh, dragon statue and a uh, pile of skeletons on the floor. Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> it's real. I told you. <laughs> I blew up the kid, not blew up the baby. But if this doesn't if this doesn't end up as the thumbnail with like Top Knot's portrait over Top Rick Moranis, I'm going to be really upset. <laughs> oh, it will be now. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, guys. Uh, I think we should just avoid this. Keep on moving on. No one's going to acknowledge. Yeah. <laughs> We're all just going to keep walking. Everybody continues walking as uh, Claude and Perry pull the sled behind them. Uh, Claude kind of bumps into you a bit. Top knot kind of sizing you up. Hey, sorry there, friend. Uh, I know you're still angry with me from earlier. Sorry I blew your face off. Uh, but, you know, we're all good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> and he just pushes past. <laughs> um, here's a question. Does armor class change at all? No. When you grow? It no? shouldn't. Okay. I don't think it does. All right. What's your armor class then, Top Knot? Uh, well, it, de- it depends. If I have my shield up, it's 13. If not, it's 12. Okay, that doesn't it doesn't really matter anyway. My shield's like strapped to my back at present. I don't have it out. Can you roll me a strength check? I certainly can, DD. Okay, one. Does his strength change? <laughs> Two minus bigger? one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that change? Uh, yeah, I could give you what it's a minus one. I'll give you a plus two. In that case, I rolled a four. Awesome. (laughs) As everybody, um, brush it, brushes past you. Um, you, you kind of, you try to just get it out of your head. You continue walking behind them as you are knocked onto your face from the back. Oh, as you feel a huge weight on top of you, you take, uh, seven points of damage. Oh, uh, ah. Uh, currently, the rest of the rest of you guys uh, have started to exit this room um, to go into the uh, the area with the hole in the ground. As you hear, guys, there's something on top of me. Is it another cat? Help! He's Help continuing me. to ignore him. Yeah. Are you shitting me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, top knot. You feel an intense pain in your right shoulder ah. as you take 13 points of piercing damage. Another 13. Not is no uh, dead. I have one HP remaining. Um, have I shrunk at this point? One HP. Didn't you? How long is my? You didn't heal during your long rest. I did. I had twenty-one, and then I lost seven, and then I lost fourteen. Jesus. Or thirteen. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna say you're starting to shrink now. If you want to make a uh, an athletics check. Do I still have my bonus? For do I have a bonus since I'm larger, or is that disappearing now since I'm smaller? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll give it to you. For you said athletics. Athletics. Sixteen. As uh, after after being knocked on your um, face and uh, taking this intense, sharp pain in your shoulder, uh, as you start to shrink again back to your normal size, you're able to scurry underneath and um, stand up and catch your breath as you see this dragon statue in front of you. Uh, 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 what is that? <laughs> that was me trying to make the transition. <laughs> uh, am, I, uh, <laughs> am I within five feet of this thing? Yes, you are basically standing right behind it. Oh, I'm behind it? Is it? It's not facing me? It's not facing you, no. It's facing, um, I guess we'd say, towards the room that the uh, other guys are starting to go into. Oh, geez, but I can't go around it. Oh, guys, the statue, it's trying to kill me. I'm really hurt. Please don't leave. Uh, Trip, uh, I actually kind of forget. Did you leave something to walk across or did you scurry like around this hole? Larry and Claude, I had to give them a little bit of inspiration to get around. That's right. Okay. So if you guys are going to start making your way around, I'm going to need everybody to roll in uh, athletics as you hear Top not screaming. That's solid. A nine. 14. Three minus one is two. Okay, so um, Claude and Perry kind of stay back. They're not too sure how they're supposed to get this astral to the other side. As um, Trip, you easily make your way around um, to the other uh, entrance. As uh, Iron Hammer and Felix, you both slip. Um, Iron Hammer, you can catch yourself. You're still, um, we'll say, in front of Claude and Perry. But Felix, you 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 fall, and uh, can you roll me an ac- acrobatics? 14 plus 1 is 15. You're able to catch yourself, um, but you're you're now hanging uh, similar to Iron Hammer his first time around. Uh, Tom, not what would you like to do? I uh, do, a gap. do I believe I can back out of the, this thing's melee range without it getting an opportunity attack since it's not facing me? You, you believe with enough speed you should be able to get past this thing. How high up is the ceiling? Not too high, um, maybe only 10 to 15 mm. feet, maybe. It's pretty tight quarters. Okay, uh, I'm going to back up 10 feet. I'm going to overload my fire stick, and I'm going to throw it between this creature and the pile of bones. Got you. Okay. Uh, roll me to hit. I think it is 
It's a dexterity saving throw for whatever creatures are in the area. Okay. Not one. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, that would have been 16 points of damage times two since it rolled a natural one. 32 points of fire damage as it explodes. That's my last. I, don't, I cannot, I cannot uh, quick craft a new one because I don't have the materials for it. Iron Hammer. Roll me um, athletics. 11. Uh, top knot. Uh, overloading your fire stick. Um, you realize you need to get around this thing. And the only way to get around is to get it out of your way. So you toss it in between um, the collection of bones and the statue and uh, causing a huge explosion, um, blowing these bones all over, hitting the walls, hitting you um, as this statue with the, the, the force of the blast is thrown backward, throw, I guess thrown, uh, thrown forward. Uh, Iron Hammer, you notice it and you're able to brush past it quickly enough nice. as it is, th- it is, it is uh, uh, flown into the other room and falls to the bottom of the pit. Mm-hmm. Uh, what you all notice, uh, not just the explosion, but you can all hear a screech as it falls into the bottom. I fucking told you so. <laughs> Do I notice anything in the pile of bones left in the explosion's wake or the scattered bones? Uh, yeah, you, you, you notice more of those um, swords and shields, again, with the same kind of insignia. With that H? Y- yes. I don't see anything of value or anything else. Not here. Okay. I'm going to follow my group then. Very, very bloodied. Felix, do you want to roll me something to get out? Yeah. 15. Uh, after, after, after seeing this statue, you would assume, uh, being blown out behind you, you uh, almost sh- shit yourself as you pull up and make your way around um, along with Trip to the other side. Uh, you and uh, Top Knot, Iron Hammer, Claude and Perry are still still need to make their way across. I'm just going to walk across. I don't know if I have enough room to get past the other guys, but I'm just walking. Okay. Yeah. And even though it's, even though it's kind of icy, uh, with, with, with your slippers, you're still able to, um, scurry around the outside. And I'm not going to say anything to anybody. I'm just walking right past him. Ian, do you want to make me an athletics? No, but I will. Can I look, is, when I look down into this pit as I'm crossing, do I see anything? Pitch black. 13 of my athletics. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're able to this time make it around uh, pretty pretty handedly as uh, Claude and Perry are on the other side. And Perry says, uh, "But uh, what are we supposed to do about this thing?" Excellent question. As they're dragging the astral. Oh, I didn't. So I didn't think about this. Um, I have a potion of shrink. Can I shrink the astral? Yeah, if you want to toss it over. Yeah. Uh, now someone's going to have to catch it, and this has the potential to go terribly. Uh, roll me a... We'll just say dexterity. That's better. It falls, shatters, and then shrinks the dead thing at the bottom of the pit. Maybe the dead thing may or may not be dead. Maybe we just shrink the cave. Shrink the what? And the cave. And then we can just we can just burst out of the top. Like, got to the cave. Um, 13? Yeah, um... You can toss the uh, yellow uh, vial over and uh, Claude catches it and will squirt a couple drops onto the astral, um, at least until it's about, we'll say about palm sized so that they're able to easily just carry it. They both start making their way around um, this crater as a blast of icy blue um, intensity blows in front of their faces and they both take five points of damage. Uh, if somebody wants to roll a perception check. Question is, are there any torches lit? Because I was previously, like, illuminating the way, but I no longer have a fire stick. I got a 15 of perception. Um, well, I rolled a 26. Oh. <laughs> you see everything. Yeah, I guess, I guess we'd say there'd be a torch lit somewhere. Somebody's holding, um... Hopefully not Claude or Perry. Right, yeah. Uh, you two, um, are both able to hear the sound of wings flapping be- beneath you. As uh, Claude and Perry are able to make their way around, if you guys would like to continue. I'm leaving, but I don't have a torch or anything, so I can't see anything. So I'm just going to be staying close to whoever is holding the torch. I know Iron Hammer and I both have dark vision, so. So Trip, do you have a torch? Well. I don't have any any torches. I also do not. I do have a torch. Um, I had never used it, I don't think. Um, yeah, I guess I'll light my torch. Uh, so we'll say with uh, Trip leading the way, um, 
you guys are able to continue through this uh, twisting path. As you, uh, yeah, as you make your way through uh, the original three, uh, the first three that made it through here, uh, you guys recognize the crag in the wall uh, where Felix's spider friend came from. Um, and you, you, you continue through until you reach the first opening with the uh, pots and pans. Um, somebody want to roll in uh, another perception? We'll say whoever's in the back. It's not me. That's one of you guys. That's Iron Hammer or Felix. Overall, it. Perception, 16 plus 5 is 21. Felix, you hear the sound of ice being scraped behind you. Hmm. Uh, you guys are almost to the entrance, or I guess the exit now. I'm going to tell the guys that I think we should pick up the pace. I'm going to run to the exit. Uh, how large is the entrance to this cave? Uh, not not huge. Uh, maybe like a 7 by 5 have my fire my fire stick anymore i could have overloaded it at the entrance and try to collapse it mm-hmm. um i'm just gonna run out and make a hard right uh are you guys doing the same or are you not as concerned make it brisk a brisk trot um if everybody could roll me just a dexterity saving throw oh that's not oh. 15 uh two dexterity you said yep seven uh, so funny enough, this time, Top Knot, Claude, and Perry all know what's coming after being informed by Felix as the three of them are able to dash out of this cave and into the clearing. Um, Trip, Iron Hammer, and Felix, you all sort of speed up, but you're not as concerned um, as the three of you are blasted again uh, by this icy um, wind, uh, and you all take 14 points of damage as you make your way into the clearing. Goodness, 14 points. 14. I am going to prep my lightning stick uh, and, and aim it toward the entrance of the cave just in case this thing follows us out. Uh, we'll say after a few minutes, um, Top Knot, you're ready. You're almost, you got beads of sweat just anticipating. And one HP. And one HP, but nothing comes. I need a health potion. Uh, you all are now back at the entrance. You now just have this about 10 foot gap um, before making it back to land. And ho. Oh. Iron Hammer, I know you, you, you've got to know some kind of healing spell or something. Yeah, I, I do. I've also got this rock. <laughs> You're not throwing that rock at me. I throw the rock at him. Uh, top knot roll a uh, dexterity. Or, I uh, sorry, acrobatics. Uh, 14. Cartwheel car out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're able You're able to uh, dodge the rock. Cool. I pick the rock up but and throw it in I don't even get. I don't even get a, I don't even get a chance to roll the hit. Uh, top knot picks it up and throws it. Uh, Iron Hammer, roll me. I'm throwing it into the cave. Sorry, Iron Hammer, ignore that. This this healing rock is now in the cave. I go pick it up. <laughs> You're going back into the cave? Yes. It's a powerful magical item. I'm not leaving that shit behind. I'm sick of all you treating me like this. I'm trying to heal you. It's not fucking funny. Iron Hammer, what's your uh, armor class? 20. I'm going to cast Good Berry. Did I find the rock? <laughs> yeah, you 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 uh you run back in, um, turning kind of, kind of a kind of like jokingly as you uh pick the rock back up, um, and you start to walk back out the cave. You make it out, however, you feel these long scraping nails go across your back as you take nine points of damage. Well, that's not bueno. And you're now back into the clearing again. These things aren't coming out of the cave after us. You'd assume it's just whatever it is just stays in the cave. Yeah. All right, let's not go back in that cave, yeah? Well, got the rock back. <laughs> Thankfully. <laughs> How large is this jump? Uh, it was about 10 feet gap. 10 foot gap? I'm going to make a run for it and jump. <laughs> Don't you have one health left? I do. Well, I was going to heal you, but... Oh, wait, yeah, you did. <laughs> well, Felix did say he cast good berry already. Yeah, I'm going to cast good berry. So up to 10 berries appear in your hand and are infused with magic for the duration. A creature can use its action to eat one berry. Eating a berry restores one hit point, and the berry provides enough nourishment to sustain the creature for one day. Holy shit. Thank you, Felix. Is that, is that why you're so fat, Felix? <laughs> I, yeah, I use ch- chopping on I those use, chopping on those good berries every day. I use my next ten actions to eat <laughs> the good berries. I'm not giving you all ten. Oh, you cast them in. My, oh, they're casting it in your hand. Yeah, I thought you cast them, them in my hand. My hand. No, oh, they okay. cast them to my hand. He's feeding so them to you like grapes. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna feed one to, to top knot. 
I'm gonna eat one. I'm gonna give one to Iron Hammer. Nice. Who else? Who else took damage? I know he was one hit point, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Everybody <laughs> took damage. Okay, so everyone gets a berry. Okay, so you've got four remaining. I've got four remaining. I'm gonna look at them. I'm gonna look at Top Knot, and I'm gonna say, "How, how bad do you want these?" Are you gonna give them to me or not? It depends. I, I need to know you really want them. Yeah, I, I kind of feel like I'm going to die. <laughs> so I I want them pretty badly to not, you know, die. Bad enough to give me your fancy shoes? You already have fancy shoes. <laughs> I'm going to make super fancy shoes. <laughs> are, you, are you serious right now? I don't know. Am I mean, I? I, I'm the one with the proposition here. Can you just give me the berries? Come on, we've all like saved each other's lives and things. At this point, can can you I'm just eat another berry? <laughs> you have three berries remaining. Can I hit top now with the rock boys? <laughs> no, no. All right, what I'm gonna say is, if uh, if you guys can't come to an agreement, we'll have to roll uh, conflicting throws. <laughs> I'm trying to save my spell slots in case we go do something crazy. I don't want to like, I'm mean, going to level one spell slots. I can't heal everybody. I'm turning away from Felix and I'm saying, you know what? You guys treat me like shit. So ever since we woke up, like I'm, I'm so sick of it. And I'm just going to run and jump across the <laughs> attempt to jump across. <laughs> Wait, top man, do you, do you need healed? Too late. He already ran. He already jumped. I'm already running and jumping, but yes. I did say several times that I needed healed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, top knot, roll me an athletics with advantage. Advantage. And I'm going to use my adaptable lock because we had a long rest. That's good. <laughs> so that first one was six. That would have been a five. No, no. I give you advantage because you're slippers. Seven. Come on, buddy. Seven. Seven. <laughs> I rolled a six and a four. What was I rolling for? I was rolling for athletics. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I have a minus one normally. Are you sure you don't want the rock? <laughs> you hit me with the rock midair. <laughs> as, <laughs> as you're falling. <fine. laughs> <laughs> of the berries. I'm going to say you take this running this running leap. Um, you don't make it all the way across. You make it probably about eight feet or so as you catch um, the bottom of one of, of your right foot on uh, the sheer edge of this um, gap. So you're kind of like almost like matrix, like matrix, like hanging off the side of the wall. Because he I'm got gonna... sticky shoes. Because he, yeah, well, he has one sticky shoe right now. The other one's kind of dangling. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to right myself. All right, roll me a uh, an acrobatics. Seven. Oh wait, no, wait, that's a nine, ten. I thought it was a six. Yeah, you can get your left foot planted on the uh, side. Uh, the blood is sort of rushing to your head, but you're not going to fall. How would uh, everybody else like to make their way across? So I'm going to make, with, with some of my mushrooms, I'm going to make a potion of flight. If you want to roll me a uh, medicine. 19. Uh, yeah, you now have a vial of, uh, uh, let's say like a sky blue uh, potion uh, that you mixed um, using the, uh, the, some of the calcina mushrooms. You still have about half your supply left. Um, I'm going to drink the potion and fly across and make sure to, like, I'm going to drop the three remaining berries into Top Knot's mouth as I pass over him. <laughs> uh, you drank the whole thing? I mean, do I have to drink the whole thing to be able to fly across there? I'm going to say to make it across, you need to drink a quarter of it. I'm going to drink a quarter of it then. Uh, you... What are, yes. What are you doing with the rest of that potion? That's what I was waiting on. Are you taking it or... I'll leave the potion for my remaining comp compatriots. I'm going to hand it to, t to Iron Hammer because I really don't know Trip. That's fair. Iron Hammer's my boy, though. Hey, am I supposed to drink this? I said, just look at me and believe. <laughs> and then I'm going <laughs> to... Wait, take the rope. <laughs> so we can tie... Because we can't all take the fine potion. Is that enough? And I assume dead bodies can't fly. Do you take the rope or are you just going to go? No, I'm just going to go. I had, I had already said, look at me and believe. Got it. Yeah, you say that as you uh, kick your feet a little bit <laughs> and you start to flutter and hover. Um, what's, your flying, what's your flying pose? Anything special? I'm thinking like Peter Pan. <laughs> <laughs> like, hand on like the hand pose. He, yeah. can, he can fly. He can fly. He can fly. <laughs> Uh, you, you majestically soar across this 10 foot gap, uh, dropping almost like salt bay, those three berries into top knots, open mouth. Um, and you make your way across, um, without a rope. 
Uh, there's still three more uses of the potion. I'm just going to, I'm standing up and I'm walking to the outpost. I'm not waiting around for everyone else to cross. Yep. And you're, you've already got your feet secured. So you're, you don't even need to make a check. You're able to walk up and just glance past, uh, Felix. I guess I'll hand one end of a rope to trip and say, hold this. And I'll also drink the potion and fly across. I hold the rope. The Iron Hammer, are you holding the potion or are you sending it back down? I'll keep it in my pocket. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, Actually, no, I'll, leave, I'll give the potion the trip to just in case the rope, something terrible happens. Okay. Flight, flight pose. Uh, no, I just want to like, <laughs> can I just have like no pose? Just like standing straight with my arms on my side and just like <laughs> yeah. moving forward. You like, oh, like a pencil dive. <laughs> yeah, just... right. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. You easily make it over uh, with the rope in your hand. Cool. Is there anywhere I can anchor the rope on the other side? Yep. There's a couple trees, a couple posts. Okay. I anchor it to whatever the sturdiest looking thing is I can find. Okay. Uh, trip, you feel the, uh, well, you can also see the rope uh, being pulled taut. And there, um, I remember when we got across, I had shot my crossbow into a tree. Can I go wrap the um, the rope around that tree? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you you can create a sort of tight tight rope. I'm gonna give the the flight potions over to to Clyde and uh, Barry and Perry. Uh, I'm just gonna climb across. Okay, uh, roll me and athletics. Sure, eight. You hand the potion over, uh, Claude says, uh, good idea. Uh, this thing is, uh, starting to grow back as you see in his hand, uh, the Astral has almost doubled in size. Now, did he pour all, the entire potion? Uh, a good amount. Okay. So you could always pour more. Yeah, exactly. Um, they will both take the last sips of the potion of flight and, uh, hover over. Um, their flight pose is, uh... Wait, did they carry the Astral with them? Yeah, yeah, they, they still got it in their hands. Sort of like, um... Those fake uh, skydiving things where, like, they're, like, holding hands, but they're, like, horizontal and, like, they kind of, like, like a helicopter, like, propel over. <laughs> um, as they spot trip, um, you make it about halfway across and slip. Uh, if you can roll me a an acrobatics. 19. Yes, you slip, but... uh. This rope is so tight, so taut, almost like a trampoline. Uh, you fall on your butt, but it bounces you off and you spring across to the other side. Nice. Top knot. Uh, it's been about a minute or so and you see the outpost in your sight. Uh, it's only about a couple seconds away. Uh, where are you heading first? Um, I am going to head to uh, the shop first, knowing that I have a little bit of extra time. If there's, uh, well, I guess that, is there a place that I can purchase wires and things that I know of? Wires? I'll say materials. I take that back. It doesn't matter because I don't have any money. Okay. At this point. So I'm going to go back to the lady, the crazy lady. Uh, Gwen. Gwen. Guinevere. Um, we, uh, we found that dog collar. My, uh, companions will be here shortly with it. Oh, wonderful. Uh, how was it? Uh, I can't believe you guys actually went. Sounds so much like Professor Oak from Pokemon Snap. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it <laughs> was terrible. <laughs> it was bad, and uh, I'm going to have to talk to some of the guards here, too. There's something in that cave. I mean, no one should be going in there. Uh, if possible, someone should maybe go back just to seal it off. But um, there was a dragon in there. There was a bunch of other crazy stuff. We did a bunch of other things. But uh, yeah, no one else should ever be in that cave ever. Did you see it? The monster that you were talking about? Yes. Yeah, we fucking killed it. It was, it was a cat. It was a cat. It was this big, this big giant cat that was in the cave. We took care of it. Don't worry about it. You're going to see it in a couple seconds. They're bringing it behind me. Uh, sorry, cat? Yeah, like a big, I don't know, you, you know, like a cat, like a giant thing. It walks on two legs. It's slimy, kind of grotesque looking. It's a cat. Come on. Uh, She's going to make an insight check. Uh, Only with a seven, though. Sounds like a cat to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sounds like that cat I saw earlier. Um, wait, so the creature, you, you killed it? Yeah, we killed it dead. Why? It was, to, it was trying to kill us. Probably the same thing that it did to your dog. Oh, yeah, your dog's dead, by the way. Obviously, you would have known that. I know that because it saved me. It didn't kill my dog. No, no, cats and dogs don't get along. Everyone knows that. And she just kind of like goes quiet as the uh, rest of the group shows up. Um, Claude and Perry just dragging this thing by its legs. Is it still little? It's uh, about half size now. Um, I'm just going to kind of throw my, you know, nod my head back and be like, she's crazy. You, you're going Gwen crazy? Yeah, she's crazy. 
Who's asking me? Is Perry asking? <laughs> no, that was me asking. <laughs> Wait till you guys get a load of this crap. She's spouting. She spots it and is just like almost overcome with like sadness almost. <sighs> um, Here we go. Freaking cat lover. <laughs> Why? Why did? Why did you all kill it? Um, excuse me. We we're the Astral very, Surveillance Squad, lady. I very gently put him to sleep. He, okay, just just so everyone is aware, still the knife, the tyrant knife, is still jutting out of this thing's skull. I never retrieved it. Oh, you didn't take it out. Oh. <laughs> uh, she'll say she'll look over to, towards Felix and say, oh, "Well, you at least found my collar, right? I mean, you're wearing it." <laughs> yeah, I found your dog's collar. Can I have it? <laughs> I guess I'm going to say, you got my golden acorn? Oh, of, of course. We got it. There, there's a whole bowl here. I'm going to toss her the dog collar and then go retrieve my golden acorn. She'll catch it. Is there she... more than one golden acorn? Uh, I, I'd say there's probably like three of them. I'm going to take all three and see if she notices. Uh, roll me stealth. Sleight of hand, sorry. 12 plus one is 13. Uh, yeah, you're able to grab all three without her noticing. She's still kind of zoned in on the uh, giant cat. Do uh, do you have any, like, copper wires or uh, what do you got that's good? Uh, I don't have any wires, but I've got uh, some copper figurines. If you want one of them, uh, I, I don't know if you can use anything. Yeah, I could, I could probably make some wires out of that. And she'll, she'll give you one just for free. Thank you. Um, I'm going to turn to Claude. Um, when are you going back to your bar? When are you going back to Cirrus? Uh, well, first I'm going to help, uh, Perry get all, uh, set up here with his, uh, little shop. Um, and then I might make the, tr- the trek in maybe a week or so. Uh, I don't, I'm not planning on heading out just yet. What if I stay with you? Are you sure? Yeah, I mean, I owe you already and these guys don't really care for me much. They probably wouldn't miss me if I was gone. They're not wrong. <laughs> do you see? Do you see? He's supposed to be the nice one out of the group. I speak out and say that I, I, I came to find you. You're the, you're the one that I know of. So I, I don't want you to leave. Or if they do, I'm gonna follow you. I said it before. I think that our paths are linked now, and they will be later on. I'm sure we're gonna cross paths again sometime. I mean, all you have to do is go back to Cirrus. You could just meet me again in Cirrus in a couple weeks. I'm not going to go anywhere else. Where Where am I going to go? There's nothing for me here. I turn oh. to Top Knot and stop, say, stop being such a little girl. I gave you the berries. Just come with us back to New Haven. At least see the finish of this mission. You're all mean to me. You you peed on me. I know that you did. Iron him. you're always throwing rocks at me. You, you knocked me unconscious like three days ago with that rock. You don't remember that? But you felt better afterwards. It's true. <laughs> I don't really feel like I'm a part of this group, and I just... I feel like ultimately I'm going to get you guys killed or you're going to get me killed. And fine, if you want to see this through or when we go to to go back to New Haven, then fine. But after that, I'm done. Okay. Can respect that. Yeah, I put my hand on on top of my shoulder and say, we're all going to die someday. So I'm not worried about you getting me killed. (laughs) Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, I'm going to turn back to Gwen. Do you know if there's any horses or anything we can take um, to traverse the roads back to where Bromness's hut might be? Unfortunately, in this weather, no. However, on your path back, you may find some wild animals you could possibly tame. How do you guys get back to Cirrus? You have to go back to Bromness's hut, right? Correct. We have to walk. You guys walk? Yes. Oh my god. All right. Well, maybe we should stay here for a day or maybe a couple days to prepare for our trip. How long is it? How many days? Depending on the person, anywhere from three days to ten days. Uh, yeah, we should, we should maybe take a little bit of time here and make sure we have everything we need. Let's go with, yeah, top knot. Roll me a perception. Nice. Uh, 21. Um, as you as you turn back to the group to say uh, we should probably stay here and get everything all set, um, you spot a seal floating down the uh, river that you guys just crossed uh, a couple minutes ago. A seal like, that gap. like the animal? No, the singer. <laughs> 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 yes, like the animal. Um, it's just floating down as you spot a polar bear leap um, from the gap and down in. Um, you'd assume doing whatever it does. And a couple minutes later, you spot it dragging the body of the seal, bloody and all, um, 
up to the land and into the tree line. Well, ain't that just the way? This is the way. Um, yeah, this this world, this place is gonna have a lot of it's stuff true. out there that's gonna want to kill us. Did you guys see that? That was really crazy. Does anyone have a map? <gasps> yeah, Gwen, do you have a map you can give us? Uh, yeah, yeah, I should actually. Um, I can't believe we haven't done one already. If you're all um planning on staying here for uh, a night or whatever, um, if you just give me a little bit, I can get that to you um in the morning. Okay. Do you yeah, have I... a map that I could also look at currently? No. <laughs> <laughs> Gwen, what is this continent called? It's called Shut the Fuck Up. <laughs> It's called um, Muldoon, M-U-L-D-O-O-N. Thank you for spelling that for me, Gwen. <laughs> I forgot. Muldoon. I've actually, I've, I've had a continent name for weeks, well, months actually, but <laughs> no I, 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 I had to remember it, honestly. I couldn't remember. Okay. Muldoon. Wasn't that, the, wasn't that the guy, the name from Jurassic Park who got eaten by Velociraptor? <laughs> the ranger, the park ranger. I think that was his last, I think that was the his The park name. ranger. <laughs> So you can give us a, this map that you're talking about. That'll be of Muldoon, too? Of, of yes, everything? of course. Oh, God. Um, I, I can't promise it'll be up to date, but it'll it's it's the mo- it's the best I can give you. All right. Well, I have a couple things I could probably do around town here. Um, Gwen, do you? I know you gave me this copper figure, and that was really nice, but um, I don't know if we actually talked about, like, payment for us going in and risking our lives for this, this sentimental item of your past. Uh, let me answer Ty's question first. Uh, Bromnus's hut, uh, that was a creek. Um, it was it was like the downstream of the large, I guess, kind of a bay where you found the creature before. So the river that the polar bear just went into, would that river lead down to that bay? Ooh. Uh, yeah, you could assume so, actually. Yeah, it, it would all kind of lead eventually to each other. Um, Gwen will say, uh, I, I don't know what else I could offer you. I mean, by myself, I, I don't have much extra. I could, uh, sir, do you, do, do you have a dog? Uh, looking at Felix. I do. Or at least I did. <laughs> Aww. I could give you this collar back. I'm going to take it back like greedily and put it back on. Oh, ew. You're just going to snatch it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh, okay. Um, is that, is that everything? Could I offer you anything else? Anything Considering else? I've taken all the payment for this, this <laughs> quest, I'm going to just like happily waddle away. I'm going to turn to trip and say, uh, and that's Felix. I knew that he already tried to kick a kid because <laughs> the people that helped me and, and Sears, um, that was them, and they weren't very happy. Yeah, they those people are really weird and serious. They they were saying that we attacked a bunch of people, but like we just helped them. I thought they were nice. Yeah, on a side bar, I never successfully kicked that kid. No, you did not. Just attempted. Just attempted it. Um, hey, Quinn, what? Um, who's in charge of this place? Nobody really in charge. Uh, there is a uh, a head officer, a sergeant. Um, he's not currently here, but he's usually the one we go to if we have any issues. Where is he at right now? Um, he's currently off uh, hunting, um, trying to get food for himself and the rest of his crew. Should he be back in the next day or so? Oh, yes, yes, yeah. He he will be back uh, tonight. He just left earlier this morning. Okay, yeah, I'd, I'm going to try to talk to him then later, maybe when he gets back. And uh, again, personally, I can't offer you really anything else, but I can give each of you a uh, a tent to camp in overnight. Nice. Thank you. That'd be really awesome. And you, you, you'll you see um, behind uh, all the shops and everything, there's kind of a little residential area with the tents set up already. Um, there's a little bit I'd like to try to do, but I don't know if you want me to try to do it in real time or if you just want us to say what we want to do until the next day. I mean, that's pretty much all I have for here. Mm-hmm. So we'll just say you guys um, kind of pack up for the night. What do all all of you guys do um, with your just a free day? I'm going to go drink with Claude. Um, I'm just going to kind of try to study some more on the books and see if I can learn any other potions. Um, I really don't have much as far as uh, herbs and stuff right now. I just want to try to build up my wisdom, I guess. I want to just kind of... Just go off to the side and uh, just really think about some of the things that ha- have been happening to me and, uh, um, you know, why I can't remember uh, you know, certain things and uh, why I'm certain to remember other things. Uh, so I want to try to, um, 
out of the copper figurine that I got, I want to try to split it into pieces and make wires out of it. I do have a, um, uh, so I do have Smith tools now that I picked up in Cirrus from before. Yep. So I wanted to do that and my Tinker stuff. I wanted, I want to try to make more, uh, another, excuse me, another fire stick. Yeah. You guys all have plenty of time. Um, as, as the four of you, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't want to. I didn't want to walk around town and see if anyone recognized the writing, uh, any of the writing that I've gathered. Oh, from the plaques. Unfortunately, walking around, um, pretty much everybody has spotted the uh, those type of symbols from the plaques that, that you can see across the gap uh, before the cave, but nobody's able to read it. Where can I go to learn about it? Who who would have studied it? We'll say you're talking to Gwen, and she'll respond. Um, the only the only one I could think of that would have any knowledge or access to read this would be Leuven. Leuven at the library in Cirrus. Yeah. Oh, you know Leuven. I do. Yeah, we we met briefly. Um. Okay. I will definitely keep that in mind. Thank you. And as all of you um take your space, uh, do your things, do what you do best, content by your by yourselves, you all level up to level four. <laughs>